and still dealing with this third in a series of storms. Winter storm warnings continue for central sections of the state. That is in effect through 6 o'clock. So we've got a few minutes left on that. Also the Sacramento's. Meanwhile, you skip on over the state line into Arizona. Some very heavy rains here. We're going to get to that in just a bit. And also wind advisories continuing for central and southeastern sections of the state. Right now, though, let's talk about what's going on with the radar. And you can see some snow showers moving in from the west still. Spotty at times. So I don't think it's going to be anything blockbusterish, but still you could see some flurries out there, maybe an additional dusting to an inch in some locations. Then down south, things are kind of quieting down there as well. There's what's going on in Albuquerque. Definitely of cloudy right now, that's for sure. So how did we do? We picked up two feet of snow in Dulce and Navajo Dam. Him and Springs picking up 14 inches. That's not all. Of course, this was a fairly warm storm. We also saw some very heavy rains. Places like Alma down in uh, the southern reaches of the state, two and a half inches of rain there. Picked up almost an inch in Rideau, so in Albuquerque foothills. This is one of the big winners in the city, by the way, a little over a half an inch out of this storm. The winds right now still very gusty out there, 30 39 in Clovis, 43 Roswell, 24 Raton, 49 Las Vegas, even here in Albuquerque, 30 mile per hour winds and temperatures feeling a little on the chilly side, 30s across the north, 40s down south with the wind and the temperatures factored in. It's a good 10 degrees colder than what it actually is. So it feels like 29 against the skin anyway. 30s out towards the eastern areas of the state and 20s and 30s and even some teens off towards the northwest. So gradually things kind of quieting down. Our low pressure system is right out here in the central section of the state. It's going to continue to push on up towards the eastern areas of the of the U.S. and of course they're going to see some problems out there as a result of that. So as the storm moves out, we'll see some lingering showers. But as we head into tomorrow, I think we're going to see some windy areas of the state, especially east of the Central Mountain. So that could definitely be an issue for us as well Sunday afternoon. Monday, this slides even a little bit further off towards the east. But temperatures looking to stay cool as we're in between systems. We got another storm we are watching, however, towards the middle and end of next week. So we'll keep a close watch on that. In the meantime, though, a few showers hours out there. Some snow across the north still lingering. We'll see definitely the clouds hanging out across the region. So something to keep in mind there. But I just want to watch the roadways. Obviously with all the snow and the rain could see some freezing areas along those roadways. Temperatures in the 30s across the north and west. Here's what your seven days looking like across uh, Farmington and Durango. You're going to be dealing with some quiet weather for the next couple of days. But Wednesday into Thursday could see a good chance for some showers. Meanwhile down towards the south and west. More or less going to see some sunshine tomorrow for change. It's going to be a little bit chilly for us with highs in the 30s and 40s, even a few 50s out there. The southeast highs tomorrow anywhere from the 50s to near 60 degrees in Roswell. You're going to end up with some quiet days ahead as well. However, could see a spot shower Thursday with highs in the 50s. Dub up towards the north and east tonight. Teens highs tomorrow in the 40s across the board. A few 30s out there as well. And definitely a little bit more sunshine for us here in the northern mountains. Overnight lows tonight will be on the chilly side. Santa Fe, you'll see highs in the 30s, but gradually warming back up in the 40s and a chance for some showers Wednesday into Thursday. In the East Mountains, we're anticipating a quiet day with overnight lows in the teens, highs tomorrow in the 30s and 40s. And the same goes for the metro area, a little bit more sunshine for us. Tomorrow, highs will be in the 40s, still a little bit chilly for us. And there's your seven-day forecast. We'll keep it quiet for the most part the next couple of days and a chance for showers Wednesday into Thursday. All right. Thank you, Travis. Here